welcome back to Coffee with Linem. I'm your host, Linem, and today we've got someone very special here to answer our question of the week. This young lady has dazzled audiences and amazed world-renowned scientists. She is the author of many famous books, including her latest bestseller, Horses and Humans, The Truth. Here to talk to you about the Equus Cabalis, commonly known as the horse, is the one and only Minnow Chana! I heard you spent the last two weeks researching on these beautiful animals to answer the question, why are there so many kinds of horses on earth? Yes, yes I have. I have finally found the answer and there is so much information I want to share with you. So in order to answer this question, I would need to start off by explaining what a horse is. A horse is a large hoofed herbivore that has been domesticated since prehistoric times. And by domesticated, I mean they've been converted from wild to tamed. These mammals are bred in a great number of varieties and used for carrying loads, for riding, for racing, and much, much more. Wow! Since prehistoric times, I never realized how amazing and important they are. I know, right? I was very surprised as well. And now that you know what a horse is, we can talk a little bit about their ancestry. The ancestors of the horse look very different compared to the modern horse. Just like our ape-like ancestors? Yes. Huh, I could be a scientist too. <coughs> anyway, they were originally from America and moved south, spreading to Asia, Europe, and Africa. Fun fact, horses, donkeys, and zebras all come from the same ancestor. Uh, what ancestor would that be? Well, according to my team's research, the earliest known ancestor of the horse was a small dog-sized animal that lived about 55 million years ago and looked a little something like this. Whoa! How does something go from that to that? This brings us to our next topic, evolution. Understanding this helps us answer the question, why are there so many kinds of horses on Earth? So horses have changed a lot over time, and through evolution, they turned into the animals we know today. Yes, we already know that. Why is it so important? Well, if you just listen, Lenin, you need to learn that evolution does not go in a straight line. Instead, it branches out as you can see from this complicated evolution diagram of the horse. Branches out? Uh-huh. If evolution were to go in a straight line, we would have the same animal from 55 million years ago today. Evolution is something that will always continue to happen and never end for every single thing in the world. True, true. Yes. The sad thing is, some of these branches can go and have gone extinct. But good then, other branches have stayed strong or else we wouldn't have the horse. And by branches, I mean breeds. Oh, interesting. So right now you've only told us how we got the horse. When are we going to learn why are there so many kinds? To explain this, we have to get into more detail about horses. Okay then, continue. We already know that people have valued horses for thousands of years. We also know that certain horses may be stronger than others, while some can be more skilled than others, bringing us to how humans are a big part of this animal's evolution. Wait, we are? Of course we are, because breeding them is how we make them useful and add to their evolution. What do you mean useful? Well, horses are bred for certain purposes and to do certain jobs. Many breeds were made and are made all over the world according to people's needs. How does that work? Anyone can see that to make horses perfect for jobs like carrying loads, riding, racing, hunting, as friends, for war, 
mining, with police, for show, and just for meat, breeders would have to find a male horse, which is a stallion, a female horse, which is, which is a mare, with good characteristics to mate and make the perfect offspring a foal, a.k.a. baby horse. To make this simpler, a good example would be is that if you want the perfect show horse, you would have to find a male horse with a really nice mane, coat, height, and color, and also find a female horse with a really nice mane, coat, height, and color, have them mate to get the ideal model child. Huh, I never thought of it that way. Are you saying that every single horse we know of are because of humans? Well, not exactly, but for the most part, yes. There are two main types of horses, which is the wild horse and the domestic horse. Domestic meaning tamed. There is only one true wild horse left. This means that all the different kinds of horses we know of are all because of human horse breeders. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. That's it? That's the answer? Yes. All of the information I talked about leads me to conclude that us humans are the reason why there are so many breeds or kinds of horses on Earth. There's got to be more! Now it's actually pretty clear if you ask me. Evolution had a big part in making the horse we know today, but humans took their growth even further by making more and more kinds of horses to meet their needs. It's all because of us. I would have never thought about that. Of course you wouldn't have. Well, it was nice having you on the show. It was really a pleasure to be here. And that's all the time we have, guys. See you next time on Coffee with Lynn. Bye. Thank you.